It's so enjoyable to watch. What is up, Amelette? It's me, I'm a J and I'm a J TV. Yeah, it is spooky season, but I was thinking about like the olden Koreans that are reacting to the old school 70s um, horror films that's been released from back then, like, such as The Exorcist. They were really shocked when they showed them The Exorcist. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> isn't it everyone? But yeah, it's not. It is. It is. It's not. I want to say it's scary. It's scary in a sense because you could get possessed. But it's scary. It, it's it's scary in a sense that it could happen to you, though. You know, it could happen to anyone. So that's the scary one. The good thing about this movie, it doesn't have no jump scares, jump scares, so that's what makes it creepier and scarier and uneasy. It's very f fucked up to watch, so <laughs> if you're underage, don't watch it. Watch it until when you're like 18, 19 or 20. So we're not going to focus on that, we're going to focus on Blackpink in your area. So Blackpink is back. And they came back with ice cream. Of course, I knew this was out, but again, hiatus. So, so for those who know, yeah, I had a long last a list. I had the longest list I ever done for the longest time that I have ever reacted for so many videos. If you have seen the videos that I reacted so far, you can understand there was a lot of videos to react. So. Blackpink is back with ice cream and obviously this is the first time they collab someone from from a different country so this time they're collaborating with Selena Selena Gomez or I call her Selena because obviously she's got a Spanish name and her surname is Spanish so Selena Gomez is back uh, well technically in the music industry but this is her like her first collaboration for in the world of K-pop. So we're going to do Selena. Uh, we're going to do Blackpink ice cream with Selena Gomez in three, two, one, go, go. I don't know what to expect. Oh. Oh, I love her hair, Lisa. Yes. Do you know what? Oh, it's Selena. I love Lisa's hair colour. Uh, Jenny looks amazing. But, girl, I'm obsessed with Lisa right now. Oh, uh, look at Rosie. Jisoo looks amazing as usual. Oh, they look so pretty. And I love her makeup. I love the combination with the makeup, like the eye eyeline, like eye makeup, with her blouse that she's that ruffly, colorful blouse that she's wearing. It just really goes with it so well. Oh, doggy! Ah! I have a soft spot for animals, and doggy is there. Just Jisoo, yes. Jisoo looks like a little princess. Oh. That's a cubby... Cubby Kara? I don't know what it's called. I'll call it cubby. because They look so good. Even Selena, she looks really good. Of course, they, they had to film separate because one, K-pop is, is dancing in a box, whereas... Selena is filming outdoors. And they look so pretty. I heard that people were not a fan of the song. Maybe because it does sound a little bit cutesy wootsy. Yes, Queen. I love the long hair wig. It really suits her for some reason. I don't know, I like it. Even if it's, she has short hair, it still looks pretty on her. Oh my god. 
gonna love the hair. Lisa! Rose! Oh my god, I love the hair colour. Oh, is this all really cute? I, I, I have no problem with it. I don't know whether it's the song they hit it, or is it the concept, or is it the fact that Selena Gomez is in it. Guys, make up your mind. It's just a song. I mean, it's always it's always the international fans, K-pop fans, that always has an issue with K-pop idols doing songs in English and K-pop idols collaborating with non-K-pop artists like Selena Gomez or like Cardi B or Megan Thee Stallion or Nicki Minaj. Guys. They are, you have to remember these, all these artists that we, not we look up to, but we, that we respect, fully respect, and you've seen them grow and mold as artists as, as they are, they're getting paid to perform. Just to let you know that we are not the professional to know everything about the music industry. So, a collab is a collab. Let's just, let's just straight out be real collab is a collab I mean this is not the first time a K-pop idol or a K-pop group has collaborated with a non K-pop idol group or artist so guys it's not that serious it's not that serious I don't know why you're making such a such issues over this it's just it's so unnecessary but I, f I finally did it. Ooh, oh my god, why am I yawning? <laughs> but I finally, I'm, I'm glad I did it so we can, you know, get this over with and yeah. I think, yeah. So I think there's a 10 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. I mean, it's not terrible. Maybe because I'm not into cutesy, wootsy, wootsy, but I'm still going to download it. It reminds me of um, Whistle and I remember what I say when I first listened to Whistle I wasn't a fan of it I wasn't I just still to this day I'm still not a fan of Whistle I don't know it's something something about it it's just not it's meh to me to me to me I know for you guys you're gonna be offended <gasps> Some of the blinks are, I know some of the blinks are going to be so mad. But then again, you have to, blinks, you have to remember that not everything are amazing. Again, if I re recall better, I did say the Bumbaya <laughs> to this day. Bumbaya is still better than Whistle. Period. I'm sorry if that hurts you or if that made your stomach turn in a certain way or flipped the certain way that you didn't like to hear, but... You got to hear the truth, okay? You have to hear other people's opinion. That's the whole point of having an opinion. That's the whole point of making commentaries like these on reactions. We're not here to sit here silently. But anyways, that's just you just being bitter and just I know it's, and, and I get it, it's not all of you. It's not all of you, I know it's not all of you, because we have even in the fandom of armies, you still got some toxic, shitty ass people who claim to be armies and you also still have some shitty ass XOLs in the fandom as well it's not all of them of course and what else TVXQ had some as well obviously I haven't heard any scandalous actually no 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 yes I have some heard some scandalous um uh, some hate with once but once since we're coming down now so yes you're always going to have some every fandom has toxic has someone toxic has someone who is a bad blood someone who is misery misery and jealous doesn't have a life they don't have a life so with, with that being said at this time we don't we're not here to be hateful we just need to be spreading love 
and compassion to those who are in need right now because right now there is no time to be fighting making fan wars unnecessarily there is no time for 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 being angry and complaining look at look at your surroundings and what do you see people dying left and right i'm sorry but this this whole pandemic is teaching everyone to to be you know to be uh, you know united and reflect and self reflection reflect on you but i still i know some people are not into that some people are just lazy 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 oh, i can't stress enough okay so with that being said i give it a 9 out of 10 i mean it's not my favorite song but it isn't terrible it's not terrible but i can see this is a song that is a summer vibe it's is yeah it's a very, very summer vibe that anyone would vibe into. So with that being said, that's what I'm going to say. I love you all and you're everyone. And I'm